Whitewater canoes are made tough so they can hit rocks and bounce back. And while there are a variety of different designs, there are only a few different construction methods. The most common one is Royal X, or this, this material, which is a sandwich between vinyl, ABS, an ABS foam, another layer of ABS, and another layer of vinyl. So these layers, the vinyl on the outside, prevents the UV from damaging the inside layers, and the ABS and the ABS foam give the boat the rigidity and the strength it needs to be able to resist those impacts. This boat is, AB, is Royal X, and uh, you can see that it's taken some abuse already. It's taken some, some dents, and you know it comes right back. It's able to withstand a fair amount of scraping over rocks and hitting rocks. Um, another important component of the, of the construction of these boats are the gunnels. Uh, these areas along the, the top edge of each, of each side, and these gunnels have aluminum on the inside and vinyl on the outside to give the boat some rigidity and some resistance to wrapping and to, and to changing shape. The other part of the, of the boat that's really important in the structure is the thwart. So these cross thwarts, again, maintain this, the width of the boat and they maintain this, the rigidity of the boat so that if it does hit something, it doesn't get damaged. A new material that's out, and one that's, that's uh, showing some promise, is a, is a material that's a composite. Um, this is a polypropylene composite with a resin um, matrix. And this material does take a fair amount of beating and bounce back, although, as you can see, um, if you do overstress it, it can be uh, cracked. This one is repairable, which is a disadvantage of Royal X, and that Royal X is very difficult to repair well. Um, this material is somewhat repairable. So there are some composite upboats out there and some composite construction options that can be fairly tough. But for the toughest, longest-lasting boats, Royal X is really the way to go.